Hey guys, Hermit here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you very quickly some of the keyboard shortcuts that are available in the new feature with Capture One Pro 21. This is called Quick Edit. Uh, the idea behind it is that you are able to key press some of the keyboard shortcuts and use your mouse or the arrow keys to adjust the value without touching the slider itself physically on using your mouse. Um, the idea obviously to speed up your workflow and be able to quickly and easily adjust or fine-tune any of your images that you've taken Therefore speeding up your entire workflow The problem was that when I started looking into these shortcuts, I could not find what these shortcuts are So they although they listed as a feature They don't really link to any information on what these keyboard shortcuts are so eventually once I figured out what they are I thought it'd be worthwhile creating a blog post and a video on showing you how to access these keyboard shortcuts. So let me go ahead and show you these. So in Capture One, once you're there, uh, first I'm gonna choose my favorite film simulation. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna use a Turner. And then for adjusting the temperature of this image, I'm going to be using the white balance. So you could use the sliders themselves, but if you don't want to, you press one to adjust the temperature. So here I'm increasing the Kelvins. I'm gonna warm this image up. Uh, the tint by pressing two. So I'm gonna push this towards purple a little bit. Add some magenta. Um, and then for exposure, we use Q to adjust the exposure. So I'm gonna bring the exposure down slightly. Um, and then contrast, I wanna increase. So I'll press uh, W for contrast and I'll increase the contrast in this image. I um, want it contrasty, this uh, tin city up in Port Stevens. Brightness, I might increase the brightness a little bit since we pull down the exposure. Saturation, I wanna add some more color. There's a lot of color in here that is quite rustic, so I'm gonna emphasize that. So R key will adjust the saturation and I wanna dial it up to 30, 35. Yeah, that's starting to look good. You can see also there's some color coming out in the clouds above uh, and then highlights a for highlights i want to pull those down uh, shadows move those up to open them up um, and uh, d for whites to adjust the white point in your image uh, keep going here yep and then uh, f for blacks where I'm gonna dial that down, again, increasing the contrast by pulling down the blacks. The clarity, um, something I can change. So Z to add some clarity to this image to make it again more punchy. Now these um, shortcuts will also work on any layers that you add or any adjustment layers. So I wanna darken and bring, um, bring some detail out in the clouds. Uh, so I'm gonna add a layer here and use my graduated mask and pull down holding the shift key so it's nice and straight and that does it so for exposure i'm going to press q and pull down on the exposure a little bit that will darken the sky there we go make it even more dramatic uh, i want to increase the shadows so that is s for shadows easy to remember i don't want it um, darkening up the shadows here, in, particularly in this area. Um, and I'm just gonna increase the saturation. So R for saturation, and scroll up with your mouse to increase the saturation. And you can see that color starts to pop. Looking good. And I might adjust the tint on this as well. So I might warm it up a little, and also push it towards purple or magenta as it's called okay so that's the image let's have a look at before and after that was the before on the left and that is the after on the right so not too bad so there you go guys quickly showing you how to uh, use those speed edit keyboard shortcuts one tip though if you want to modify those keyboard shortcuts if you're not right-handed but left-handed and you use your mouse with the left hand you may want to customize those keyboard shortcuts. Um, you go to the edit menu up here and go to edit keyboard shortcuts. This is where under the speed edit keys, you will see the default keys that have been assigned. You can go and create a new set 
uh, by defining your own and, and setting up the keys as you prefer. So that way you can have a more customized set of keys that you wanna use for the various different settings. And if some of the settings you don't wanna use, uh, you can remove the keyboard shortcut so you're not adjusting that slider and reassign that key to potentially another slider. So thanks again for watching this video guys. Uh, I hope you found this useful. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell if you are new to my channel. Um, and if you are a regular viewer, thank you very much for your support. Uh, I much appreciate it and I hope you found this video useful. Thanks again guys. See you soon with another video. Bye bye.